So this question here is asking us to find coterminal angles to the angles that are provided in the question. It's asking us to provide one positive and one negative coterminal angle. And now, it says here that the angles may, sorry, the answers may vary, but the truth is, I mean, yeah, they might vary, but it's not likely they're going to vary by very much here. I think most of us are going to do this the same way. Coterminal means that the, the angles all share the same terminal arms. So let's just take a quick look at what, what that might imply here. 200 degrees. It's going to be just slightly down here in the third quadrant, okay? So this would be 200 degrees. But the thing is, there's no reason to say we can't go around and around and around the circle, forwards and backwards, however many times we want here. Any angle that ends along this line is going to be coterminal to it, okay? So to get a positive coterminal angle, I take this angle right here and I continue my counterclockwise rotation, but I go all the way around. Now, how far around do I have to go to get back to here? Well, I think it should be pretty clear. It's 360 degrees, the full circle. So my first angle is going to be 200 degrees plus 360, okay? So 200 degrees plus 360 is going to be 560, okay? There's my first angle. Now, the other way of doing this, though, is to take 200 degrees and go clockwise. 360 of full rotation, meaning going backwards here. Now, 200 minus 360, because when, when you go this way, when you rotate clockwise, that's a negative rotation. So minus 360 is going to get you negative 160 degrees. So I could do this here, okay? I could go around, actually I'll do it out here. I could go around to there. There's my 560. Or I could rotate this way negative 160 to get to the same terminal arm. So that's, that's the concept here. We're going to add 360 or we're going to subtract 360. So let's go over here. Now, negative 290 is our principle, well, okay, is, is the given angle here. So how do we get a positive coterminal angle to that? Well, we take negative 290 and we add 360 to it. And if you add 360 to it, you get 70 degrees. If you want another negative one, you have to continue to rotate in that same direction. So it would be negative 290, and then you're going to subtract 360, okay, or add negative 360, if you will. And then the answer is going to be negative 650. Okay, so I hope that makes sense here. This one here was add 360. This one here was minus 360. Same thing over here. I guess I, should, I could do it over here too. I'm going to add 360 to that, and here I'm going to subtract 360 to it. Now, this last question, a little different. This last one here is in radians. Now, it's only just a little different because instead of having, uh, instead of having 360 degrees in a circle, there's two pi radians here. But actually, I want to I wanna be a little bit lazier with this. Let's, let's talk about what this is representing here. Ignore the fact for the time being that there's a 17 up top here and just look at what is going on here. This is, this pi, <coughs> sorry, represents the top half of the circle. Pi looks like this. This is that angle. Okay, from here all the way up to there, there's pi. And what I'm doing here is I'm dividing this into sixths, which means I'm taking the top half of that circle, and I didn't do that very well, but you get the idea. I'm dividing that into six bits. Now, if I'm doing that to the bottom, I'm also, sorry, to the top, I'm also doing it to the bottom. So I've chopped up the entire circle into twelfths. The top half into sixths, the bottom half into sixths. Now, this angle here tells me that I've got 17 pi over 6. Now, bearing in mind that I start here, okay, on the positive x-axis, for a positive rotation of 17, I'm going to go around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is where I end up going or all the way around and get out to here. That is 17 pi over 6. Okay, now, if I want a positive coterminal angle, what I could do to this is add another rotation. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And I could get 29 pi over 6. Okay, by simply adding 
a rotation or two pi to that. But all I'm doing is counting it out. I, I, I think you should, instead of, instead of doing this kind of a calculation, instead of going 17 pi over 6 plus 2 pi, which is 2 pi over 1, finding common denominators and then adding them together, just count it out. If I want to go backwards, okay, here's my coterminal angle. By the way, another co positive coterminal angle would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 pi over 6 is also coterminal to that. In fact, it's the smallest one. It would be the principal angle. Another way that I could do that to get a negative coterminal angle is to go backwards here. Now, we could, 17 pi over 6 goes around once and out to here. So you undo that first rotation. If you simply started here and then counted backwards here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7 pi over 6 is a negative coterminal angle that takes you out to the same spot. Again, I could get that by simply going 17 pi over 6 minus 2 pi. Now that would get me a positive answer, but if I subtract another 2 pi from that, I would get the negative 7 pi over 6. I think it's easier though if you just basically look at the way this, this ratio here is telling you to chop up pi and then just do it and count it out.